Hey folks, hi, this is uh, Panzer966. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do like a three months review on the car. Uh, just hit, I'm at 3,200 kilometers on the car. Um, so I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like. And yeah, and then you can hear the sound a little bit as I'm talking to you too. <laughs> All right, so let's start. <laughs> I'm still grinning, I'm still smiling, I love the car still. So I was quite nervous when I first uh, traded a, the M4 for the uh, Mustang, right? I mean, it's, it was an M4, right? It felt like I was going backwards, but God, this car is amazing. I still love every minute. Uh, I've got used to the uh, interior, I'm fine with that now. And look at this, look at this, woohoo! shift god i missed having a manual car holy snuts i just love it even my day-to-day -day commute is enjoyable like because i control it even though i'm like you know i'm not I'm not a young punk i don't do every kind of stupid stuff on the street right but i mean even by following uh, the speed limit somewhat i mean i'm like i don't like I can't leave it in second gear here, that beautiful noise, right? Versus the M4, which is going like seven gear and then I not hear anything unless I punch it all the time, which was kind of weird, but um, no, so. Uh, hold on guys, I need to put the, uh, the vent on because uh, I can't see anything anymore. Anyways, so yeah, still loving it. The sound's amazing. I did put a bunch of mods. Oh, the mods, guys. Coming from the, uh, the M4 where freaking Everything you want to put on the car is a 500 bucks, 2,000 or whatever else, right? This car, plenty of parts out there. It's all American, so I don't have to pay like a shit ton of shipping for something European. Uh, also, also, um, yeah, there's a lot of different parts for this car, right? Because some of the Mustang parts will fit this car. So, I mean, you know, uh, so that's fun. So I've been able to mod my car a little bit, very mildly, but still, I mean, put like a personal touch to the car. I've been tracking the car. Uh, I mean, I did some driver training. I'm going to start doing some time attack. I've been doing autocross. You can look at my channel. There's a few of those videos on. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've put the... Uh, I haven't drag raced this car. Don't think I will, to be honest with you. If I was going to go to drag race, uh, I think I would bring the, the Challenger instead. I'd like to see what the Challenger can do. Uh, and besides from what I can see and read, I don't think it's a very uh, drag racing worthy car, but on a track is amazing. I actually got a chance to, uh, to do kind of some straightaway on the uh, driver training I did last week. In second gear, I'm hitting like 130 kilometers an hour. It was like, oh, it was amazing. Great grip um, and that sound. Everybody came to tell me how much my, how much I love the sound, how much they my, they think my car is the best sounding freaking V8 I've ever heard. And I'm like, yes, thanks guys. I do agree with you. I think this is the one of the most awesome V8 engine noise you can get, especially with the resonator delete. And it is loud. Stay tuned for that video. I'll have a uh, before and after video on the resonators. Um, it's a, the Corsa one, and whew, it's freaking, it is, it is loud, and it sounds nice. Okay, now I'm stuck behind a bus, so it is what it is. Um, now for the, is there, so you're going to tell me, hands are like, is there anything bad with this car? Yeah, there is. I mean, the quality uh, of the car, I'm sorry, for like 80 grand Canadian, it's not there. I mean, well, the I guess I guess I'm paying for perform performance parts, which I'm glad and I do enjoy. But God, my pan I got, I got panel gaps in my front and rear bumper. Uh, the wheels, although look amazing, they they don't seem to clean well. I think they look like they're marked, and I got a few uh, scratch already on them. Uh, the BMW were black also, and they still look nice. And it was a 2015, so I don't know. Rock chip. Freaking, I had like 2,000 kilometer and like already like three three rock chip to the freaking primer. It's like, it's barely any paint on this car. It's crazy. So that I'm really disappointed in. Um, 
And so I got three big marks on my car, which I just went and ordered some paint from the dealership so we can put on this. So it doesn't look like it's not on the primary. Um, okay, fuel economy, good God. I mean, I can't. I came back from, I had, I mean, I had a Jeep SRTA back in the day, so, and Ford Raptor and all that snug, okay. But God, this thing is, this thing is bad, holy snug. Like, for for this this day and age, like, my BMW was awesome on fuel economy with this one. Whew, it's bad. I barely do 300 kilometers on a tank. It's ridiculous. Um, and I put the, the good stuff, the 94 octane, right? Anyways, so, fuel economy, um, pretty bad. The steering wheel, although it's fun, it's grippy and everything, Alcantara, I hate. I'm a leather guy. It's a pain to clean and, uh, I mean, I don't see this. I've only got 3,000 kilometers on the car. I can't, I can't only imagine what this is going to look when I've got 30,000 kilometers on the car. I don't think I'll be very nice. It's fun now. It's fun when it's new, but I don't think it's... I prefer leather. If I had a choice, I would totally order the steering wheel. The whole interior leather, to be honest with you. Uh, the seats. I kind of wish I would have had the racing Recaro seat in my car. Uh, it was a 2017 in 2018. I didn't get to choose. I didn't get to order it or anything. I got a good price on it. I would have picked the Recaro seat, but I am glad I do have those seats. So there's, there's still plenty of support. I got my heated seat. I got my vented seat. Not that I use the vented a lot, but the heated seat, I do use it. I do commute in this car a little bit. So I find a heated seat pretty uh, pretty good and also it's nice a bit more adjustability than the, the Recaro seat and I do race this vehicle but really I drive it more on the road than I do race it so kind of glad I had those seats yeah what else like this car brings a lot of compliments I think you know the M4 wasn't too bad a lot of people knew what it was but this I got like stranger just this afternoon got his motorcycle Drove from my house, then turned around and came in my driveway because I was outside cleaning it. He's like, dude, he says, he said, I had to stop to compliment you on your car. It's a beautiful car. He says, I've heard it a few times. It sounds just amazing. Like, it takes so. And even like when I go fuel at the gas station or where I, when I go on uh, at car meets, people like they all, they all swarm me and like they, they all want to see it and everything. So uh, it's pretty cool. I won't, I won't lie to you that I do like, I do like that. Um, so all in all, after three months, uh, there's uh, there's this thing online where I'm on a forum and a lot of people are having difficulty with the oil consumption on those vehicles. Even Ford said, like, I think it's every 500 miles, it's okay to have a quart, of, to add a quart of oil. And so some engines are bad. I'm crossing my fingers here. So far, mine isn't. Uh, I've got over 3,000 kilometer and I still haven't put any oil in it. And I check it every time I can fuel because I'm stressed. So far, so far, so good. I'm glad with that. My car doesn't seem to be affected. Um, other than that, I didn't have any major issue. Well, I didn't have any issue with the car uh, so far, but it's still, still pretty new. Uh, my new, except the only issue, like I said, is for the paint. And even when I got the car, I got swollen marks all over the car. Uh, that might be due for the, to the dealership having probably the car for like close to like eight months on the car lot. You know, dust and probably like. Joe Bo there just fucking cleaning the car with the, the same rag he's just cleaning every other car in the dealership so I don't know I'm just speculating but might be the issue regardless car full swell mark swell marks so I'll have to figure something out for that one uh, but again I said it before paint on this car is crap I find really they did pretty well good job Ford I love what you brought so now I guess the big question Panzer would you buy this car again hell yeah I totally would. This car is just the end. Well, I guess, yeah, the car they did a good job with the car. I mean, it's track worthy and everything, but I think the engine is the big part here. Voodoo. Holy snuts. Voodoo. So, I guess. with you when I traded in the uh, if you've been following my channel 
I want it at 911. I want it a uh, 911. Point two, nine nine one two. Right? Uh, I couldn't get what I wanted. Didn't happen. Uh, so what I did is I bought this car with a two-year uh, ownership in mind. But to be f to be honest, guys, I love it way more than I thought I would. Uh, is it a possibility I might keep it a little bit longer? Totally. Uh, would I keep this as? Would I keep this car as my? this and that unlikely I do have a 72 Challenger that's the car I won't get rid of so if I want to buy another car I'll have to get rid of this one sadly but we'll see where the future takes us but yeah go for I think the flat plane they did an amazing job uh, I hope they come out with different cars like that in the future for me to buy but the same same aspect I hope they don't so these guys these ones actually gain the uh, collectability status so. yeah so that's uh, pretty much it very positive love the car I enjoy it every time I start it so uh, hopefully I can post a lot more videos uh, of the car for you guys to see it seems to be very popular on my page so thank you uh, to all my subscribers uh, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe there will be more video coming for sure from, from me racing, from more reviews, from uh, the exhaust, uh, more add-ons, more mods, so stay tuned guys, and some great footage will be coming down your way. If you want anything, special requests, don't hesitate, put it, leave comments. Alright guys, this is Spencer 966, so I'll see you next time.